Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. So the thumbnails tab is an area here in PowerPoint where you can manage slides in a lot of different ways. It's, it places your slides conveniently in an area where you can use your up and down arrow keys to navigate between them. Now you may be familiar with using the F6 key when you're navigating in Microsoft Office applications such as Word or Outlook. And you can certainly do the same thing here on PowerPoint. So if I press F6 several times here from the slide area in an open presentation, eventually it will take me to that thumbnails tab. And I'll show you that here. I have a presentation. I actually have two presentations open. One is blank and the other is a presentation with several slides. So I'm here in an open presentation. I'll press F6. F6, slide area, no selection. F6, toolbar, slide sorter tab. And we have the toolbar. F6, upper ribbon. We have ribbons. F6, slide thumbnails tab. And here's the thumbnails tab. And, and we're going to come back to it in just a second, but I do want to show you something else. So I'll press F6 again. F6, slide area, no selection. And here's the slide area. This is where you're placed when you open a presentation. Now, as with other Office applications, when you're navigating with F6, if you want to navigate backward, you can press Shift F6. Since the thumbnails tab was right before the slide area, I can press Shift F6 and go right to it from this area. And so this is just a really quick way to get there. So let's say I just opened a presentation. Here I am in the slide area. I'll press Shift F6. Shift F6, slide thumbnails tab, water speech and sound schemes, slide. All right, so here I'm in the thumbnails tab. This, once again, this is just an area where you can navigate with your up and down arrow keys. So I am going to press Control Home to go to the top and it just places these slides in a list. Presenter slide. So this is a presentation that uh, we took from a webinar that was conducted several months ago. And I am going to copy and paste some of these slides. I'm going to show you how to use the thumbnail tab to copy slides from one presentation to another. This is one of my favorite features here in PowerPoint. So I'm just going to press down arrow to navigate here and show you how this works. What we'll cover slide. What, what is text analyzer slide? Configure text analyzer slide. Benefits of using text analyzer slide. What are speech and sound schemes slide? So this particular webinar was discussing different features of JAWS, two particular features were text analyzer and speech and sound scheme. So here I have some slides on the speech and sound schemes feature. Select a scheme slide, create a scheme slide, benefits of using speech and sound scheme slide. All right, so let's say I wanna take these slides, I want to copy them over to a new presentation because I, I wanna do a presentation on this feature. So I'm gonna arrow back up to the first slide on speech and sound schemes. Create a scheme slide. Select a scheme slide. What are speech and sound schemes slide? All right. From here, I can select these slides just like I would text in a document or files in a folder. I'm going to press and hold down the shift key and then press down arrow. Selected slides. What are speech and sound schemes slide? Selected slides. What are speech and sound schemes slide? Select a scheme slide. Create a scheme slide. Selected. Selected slides, what are speech and sound schemes, slide. Select a scheme slide, create a scheme slide. Benefits of using speech and sound scheme slide. And as you heard there, JAWS just read each of those slides as it, they were selected. It read the, the names of them again, instead of just reading the one slide that was selected, it read all of them. But now we have selected these slides. I could verify this with a keyboard command that's insert shift down arrow. Selected slides, what are speech and sound schemes, slide. Select a scheme slide, create a scheme slide. Benefits of using speech and sound scheme slide. All right, so now we've selected these slides. We could do a number of things. We could delete them, we could cut them, we could copy them. In this case, I wanna copy them to the clipboard. So I press Control C. Copy selection to clipboard. And then I'll just press an arrow key to deselect. Benefits of those slides. All right, now that I've copied them to the clipboard, I'm gonna go over here to my new presentation and I can use alt tab to navigate to that window but alt tab if you're familiar with this keyboard command will navigate you through open applications I want to do this from within PowerPoint I don't want to leave the PowerPoint application so I'm going to press control f6 control f6 presentation one PowerPoint 
and here I am in the next presentation. And by the way, this does also work in Word documents. If you have multiple documents open, you can press Control F6 to cycle among them. So here I am in this new presentation, and I want to locate the slide thumbnails tab once again. So I'm going to press Shift F6. Shift F6, upper ribbon, ribbon, ribbon tabs, tab expanded, home tab, all Shift F6, leaving menus, toolbar, Shift F6, slide areas, Shift F6, slide thumbnails tab. And I, I may have already been in that tab, but when I press Shift F6, it just cycled me through those areas. So once again, you can just press F6 to cycle forward or Shift F6 to cycle backward. All right, so I'm here in the thumbnails tab. And right now I just have a title slide in this presentation. So I want to take those slides that I just copied and paste them right here. And I'm going to do that with control V. Pasted from clipboard. Speech and sound scheme. What are speech and sound schemes? Select a scheme slide. And Use here we go. Now, what just popped up here is this paste recovery table, which has been talked about. Matt Ader talked about that in uh, one of his tips his office tips for JAWS users, and we've talked about it in a webinar. So if you wanna know more about that, definitely check out those tips. But what this is, is it's giving us choices of how we want to paste this information. Now, I don't have this turned off, so it's gonna come up for me, but where I find this handy in PowerPoint is that we have a couple of options here. And I'm gonna tab through them here. We have- Keep source formatting button. Use destination theme button selected. So we could use the destination theme, which is the, the destination, the, the new PowerPoint presentation. I'll tab again. Keep source formatting button. We could keep the formatting of the source of where these slides came from. That's actually what I would like to do here. So I'm going to press enter. Enter. Selected slides. Now, sometimes you have to press escape a few times to get rid of this. I'm going to press escape a few times here. Escape. Es escape. And hopefully that went away. All right. So we're, we're here back in our thumbnails area. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys. I'm going to press control home to go to the top. Speech and sound scheme slide. There's our title slide. What are speech and sound schemes? Select a scheme slide. Create a scheme slide. Benefits of using speech and sound scheme slide. And there are all the slides that we've just pasted. So this is just a really quick way to move slides from one presentation to another. Now, one important thing to keep in mind when you're pasting slides, wherever you are focused, like whatever slide you're focused on, when you paste a slide or multiple slides, it will put them below that particular slide. All right, a couple more things you can do here. We can delete a slide, which I'm gonna show you how to do. We can press delete. I'm on benefits of speech and sound schemes. So if I press delete. Blank, create a scheme slide. Goes away. And if I didn't wanna do that, if I deleted it and thought, oh, I really didn't wanna delete that, I can just press control Z. Undo, benefits of using speech and sound scheme slide. And there we are, it's back. All right, so I'm going to show you one more thing and we're gonna move on to the next task. You can also create a slide right here. And I'm on the last slide, which is benefits of speech and sound schemes. I'm gonna press control M mic and we're gonna create a new slide. Slide six, slide six. And here we are on that slide. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.